Hello, 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 and welcome back to Elden Ring. Um, this is going to be like a mini episode, but it is to episode 53. So, um, basically, we're going to just do a few little bits that we missed last time. So, number one, I thought that because these had blue insignias on them, that you couldn't go through them. Huh. <laughs> So uh, I was co-oping with my friend the other day, and uh, he just sort of ran through them, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, he ran through them, and um, I followed him. So I know roughly what's about. Um, there's a golden seed at the end of here. I think there's an item as well, maybe, somewhere. I might be wrong. Uh, maybe I'm wrong on the item. Can't remember if you can get down here. I'm gonna go with no. Uh, maybe maybe later. Hang on, let's actually see what it says. No jumping. Likely danger. Yeah, no. Okay, so you don't jump off of there. Um, we still have yet to combat test this weapon. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I haven't practiced at all in between episodes, so um, if it does suck, we're about to find out together, and it will be a very heartbreaking moment if it does. Um, but, with that being said, I actually do have high hopes for it. I like its moveset. Sort of like a mix between the twin blade and like a sort of a stabbing weapon. Um, what's the... Ooh, very cool. Um, and then we can also get out on this one. Uh, this one has some enemies down it. Hopefully they won't be too ridiculous for me. Now, where do the enemies start? That looks like enemies. Okay, so far so good. We're one-shotting wolves, so that's good. That's about where my dagger was at, I think. Actually, no, my dagger was um, worse than that. So we do need to get used to this move set. Um, the other thing I wanted to try out was uh, scouring black flame, uh, which we can do. Um, I think there's more wolves. I don't remember where. Oh my god! Uh, I don't really quite know what. <laughs> Okay, we're still good at the moment. I think we have more wolves up ahead. Let's move back a little bit. I want to be able to see what I'm up against. Why would he come after me, after seeing that? Mm, not sure about that damage right now. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> So um, we need more FP, is what I've uh, is what I've immediately learned. Uh, are there more enemies, or was that it? I think that was it. Yeah. So down here we have a Santa. Woo! Three cheers for Santa. Well, Isabel, can I help? Oh, I skipped. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Um, so what does he sell? I think my friend did actually tell me. So we've got Fanged Imp. So I think that's the golems, like the little rock golems. Uh, we also have the starting armor for the warrior class. Uh, we have stone swords. Um, okay, lost ashes of war. Some sacrificial twigs. There's some cool stuff in here, actually. Um, let's, uh... 
we've got enough, and we can sell some stuff as well. So, uh, Fervor's Cookbook, I think that might be a go for. Eye of Yolgor. Yolgor. Um, we'll go for that. We're a little bit off of being able to get the impashes. Um, I don't know whether we'll actually use them, if I'm being completely honest with you, but... Um, we have got so many of these, and we've never used them. So, uh, we'll get the impashes. Um, that'll do for now, but we know there's three stone sword keys here that we can come back and get. Um, okay, we've got one more thing to do down here, and this is the only thing that I think I'm a little bit worried about. But we'll see. Uh, so. Um, there's an item down here. You can already see the danger. Um, just hold, uh, hold up above the, uh, above the gate there. Um, now. Hmm. Well, I messed that up. There we go. Oh, we should be okay. His damage isn't... Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I... We're waiting for a very specific move. Yep. Got him. Okay. And we're looking good. We're looking good. We have an item down here. Celestial Dew. Awesome. Okay. Uh, should we just fast travel? I think we should just fast travel. I know we're not far, but um, nonetheless. Uh, so we want to go back to... Actually, we're going to go to, 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 to do Debate Parlour for the next one. Um, so this is the only one on the list that I've not done yet. I've not actually seen this even. Um, my friend just told me about it. Um, so on the way into this boss room, and I don't know exactly where, but somewhere up here... Not that one. Not that one. Uh, okay, it could be one of these ones, I think. Or it could be this one. Uh, can we kill this guy quick? The answer may surprise you. Um, so it could be... Boom. Hidden wall, baby. I don't remember. Well, I say I don't remember. I've not actually ever... Is this guy for real? Is this guy seriously coming to investigate me? No, he's not. Good. Okay, so we've got a ladder. We've got... It's like an archive room. Uh, an archive room. Like a, a closed-off study. Like a secret study. I got a chest. Comet. Okay, so that's a spell that we're probably never going to use. Stone sword key. That's a little bit better. Okay. Then we've got an upper floor. Oh. Uh, my friend said something about there being a drop down up here as well. So, um, yeah. Full disclosure. I'm not. Um, you know, I'm not withholding any information I've been given. Um, ah, yeah, I see the drop down, okay. So, we are going to get that. I'm just going to have a quick look around first. Uh, okay. So we've got like a, a whole secret study area. Very cool. And then there's this area as well. Wait, 
wait a minute. Why is it always death? Is that death? Wait, so do we have another way? I'm trying all of them because I don't know exactly what we're after. I mean, I guess we just go down, right? I mean, we've only got a thousand souls, so... Wait, mimic pots. Okay, damage is good. There's a lot of them. What am I hearing? Be wary of decoy, so yeah, there. Yeah. So my friend said something about pot men being around. How many more? One up there. Did I get them all? I think I did. Graven School Talisman. my hearing okay I think we are we're clear in here I think so what's the implication of this we've got like a big crystal mass and a bone pile oh it's an individual crystal it's a bunch of crystals piled up okay cool um so I think I know what this... Well, actually, I know what this is. My friend told me. Um, so that's that door. So, we can now exit out again. Go to the Grand Library. Um, so, we're now going from... Oh, yeah, I wonder if... Uh, nope. <laughs> Didn't know if we'd picked anything up that would have uh, helped that along. We did not. Okay, so we're heading down from here. Okay, that was delayed. And also a little bit terrifying at the speed at which it moved. Um, so this one I missed completely and my friends uh, pointed out to me. Well, actually, did I? So this is basically how we open the double doors in here. So we go down here and it's actually pretty obvious. Like once you Okay, I think we're good. And then there's this bit. Who would have thunk it? So we've got the double doors. Which are now open. And then we've got this little upstairs area, which I don't... Oh, no, I do remember what's up here. I started to explore with my friend and then I fell off the tower and died. <laughs> You'll see why. It's because of him. <laughs> that guy there. That bastard. <laughs> so. I'm not too sure. Okay, there's two spellcasters. They just span around and send me instantaneously. What the? Oh, and this is where I died. So, what we're going to do is we're going to descend. Okay, we descended real fast. <laughs> so, I was um, kind of hoping for a sneak attack, but uh, what happened was not that. <laughs> Now, I'd like to say that that was everyone's fault but my own, but um, that would be lying. <laughs> and it was, in fact, my own doing. I didn't send the lift back up either. I'm clever like that. 
Okay, we've been going for 14 minutes, and this is, I think, the last thing I have to show. So, um, we're all good. I did also miss a, um, um, a, a, a rolling skill beetle. Um, he was on the roof of a tunnel that we walked through about a million times, and I never saw him. Um, I'm going to get him off camera, though. Um, no particular reason for me getting him off camera. I just I don't particularly think you guys need to see me going through the area again. Um, it's not all that interesting. He's just hanging off the ceiling somewhere. Um, and you have to snipe him with a ranged weapon. So there was an enemy. Uh, there he is. So what I'm thinking. Oh, there's my there's my souls. <laughs> now, how are we doing this? We have a reasonable amount of magic, but screw it. Uh, down. Okay. went early. That was my bad. Okay, we got it. Okay. Uh, the hard part's over. The hard part is over. Too sure if there's more enemies. Well, I just sort of uh, lazily walked out. Okay, there's. I think there's a drop down here that we can do. Oh, okay. This is just how we get down quickly. I think. Uh, glintstone scarab. Uh, what does that do? I wonder if it has a special effect. Matter of fact, I wonder if all of them have special effects because I did not. Ah, reduces the FP cost of sorceries, but increases damage taken. FP cost of incantations, but increases damage taken. Um, FP cost of skills, but increases damage taken. Okay. That's cool. I can deal with that. Um, my assumption is... You know, this weapon is so cool. I'm so glad that I got it. I'm so, so glad that I went and got it. Um, so like you know I know I said I wasn't going to like look at guides and stuff um, it was just frustrating me a little bit that I hadn't found a weapon that was really speaking to me and I wanted something that went well with a black flame build and this is just like it this is it um, and I'm glad that I did this. Like I'm not, um, I'm not beating around the bush or anything. I think that it was the right decision to have a little look up online, and uh, you know, it got me a really cool um, uh, pyromancy as well, um, which I will admit I have not used in battle really all that much. But um, it's only been one episode, um, and you know what? We're going to do it now. So. I love the uh, the skewering attacks. I think they're so cool. Like just the fact that it can be a slicing weapon and a piercing weapon is really uh, is really nice to, for me. I think. Like I love having two types of damage because some enemies are resistant to certain things, so it just makes a lot of sense. Um, 
But yeah, no, this is cool. This is very cool. Um, all right, so this has just been like a small side episode. You know, I'm going to check my list. I'm just going to make 100% sure that I have not missed anything off of my list because I made a list um, and it was going to be like, oh, when I wake up in the morning, I can look at it. But as it turns out, I've just stayed up to do it. <laughs> uh, so Golden Seed, done. Library, backwards to do the jump to the ladder, done. Oh, there is one more thing. Um, so this is the one that's untested. I don't know much about this one. Um, this was uh, purely on information from my friend. So, um, like, he's usually pretty reliable. Um, but, like, um, it could be dependent on where you're at in the story. It could be dependent on what bosses you've defeated. Um, and it could be dependent on time of day as well. He said he did it at night time. So uh, we're going to go at night time. Um, and then there's a thing we've got to do in the forest. So this shouldn't take long, uh, from what I understand. Got golden rune. So we're heading to where that bear is sleeping. God, I've still not mastered this uh, horse combat malarkey. Oh my god. Hang on, let's lock on. It didn't help. Nothing can help me. I've gotten too excited about getting my weapon. Okay. Right, we don't want to dally, because uh, we've got a little bit of distance to cover. It's not too much, but a little bit. Yeah, okay. Okay, so. Right, there's a howl. Boom. Wolf Knights. There is a wolf knight up on top of the ruins. So we're going to have another look. There he is. Just up there. Now, I think now that we've seen him, so he's howling at the moon. Okay, so now that we've seen him, I don't think we have to do anything um, like to him right now. Um, but if we go to the Church of Ella and we talk to Santa, I believe he has some information for us. Hopefully. It might not have worked. It's you again. Always a pleasure. Okay. About the howling in Mistwood. The howl of a wolf. In the Mistwood. I suppose he must still be skulking about. I know. Why not meet him for yourself? Next time you hear the wolves howl, make this signal right under the source. Oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. I just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. Oh, we will. Okay, so finger snap. All right. Goodbye for now. I like Santa. Santa's cool. Right. Uh, so we're going to put it in our gestures menu. Uh, we'll go over disjection, I think. Uh, so we want finger snap. Where is finger snap? Is it no fire spermy? Uh, strength, rally and cry. Finger snap. Okay. So now we go back again. Uh, mistwood, mistwood, mistwood. Uh, down here. I know this isn't the fastest way to get there, I don't think, but um, it is the surefire way to get there. Uh, it's still night time, so we might be good. That's not how you get on your horse. There we go. I still do that all the time. I wonder what the uh, stabbing attack is. Oh, it's still the spinning thing. I actually quite like that. So we can go... Uh... <laughs> I didn't even kill them. That was ridiculous. Right. 
Okay, he's still up there. This is good. Wait, we can do it from outside, I think. Uh, hang on. If we go... Dude is big. Who goes there? Carly sent you, did he? Ever the bloody busybody. <laughs> this is not the voice I expected. Don't seem so strange. The name I like this guy. Blyde. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrowell. He found somebody nearby. Or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. Darrowell. I'll offer you ample reward. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor and in need of a fitting Darrowell. end to his tale. Darrowell is not and in need of a Darrowell, 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 Darrowell. That was awesome. I'm glad I did that. That was so cool. My friend is uh is right on the money there. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Um, I think we're done for this episode. Um, I can't think of... Just going to double check. Uh, that is everything on my list. So, um, we've done everything that I wanted to do. And we've actually accomplished even more than I thought we were going to as well. I mean, like, God, we've, uh, we've like, uncovered so much. And there's still so much to uncover as well. This is mad. Like, and wait. Oh, so like there's. Hang on, if we go. Is there like an up? Or, or did we just not expand the map yet? No, we did. We. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, cool. Right, yeah, doy, all of this is new. Okay, okay, sorry. I was literally just like, wait, isn't this just the northern part? But no, this is all new. That's crazy. Um, and then we've still got all the areas that we rushed through to get there as well um, on our list. That includes all the way down here as well. So, yeah. Uh, we've got a lot to do, but we're going to finish up everything around here and around here first. Um, so, yeah. Um, wow, there you have it. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Farewell. Um, I looked up who Darawil was, and um, it turns out that Darawil is the, uh, the Bloodhound Knight that you fought in this arena. Hence why our dude is here. So, let's have a talk. Right. There you are. Had to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Here's your prize. What is it? Somber smithing stone too. Okay. Oh yes. I should say. If you venture north to Rayo Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's <gasps> Ooh, a I've met him. Side, tell him I sent you. And he'll be oh. sure to treat you right. Oh. Everyone, I reckon. That's enough chit chat for now. It's time we parted ways. Dude, I like this guy. His armor is so sick as well, like the long wolf coat. Like, if it was a little lighter looking, I would definitely be on the lookout for that. Like, 110%. But, uh, no, fair enough. Okay, let's go and talk to the blacksmith then. I mean, we might as well, seeing as I've done this little additional segment. Um, so he was up here, right? He was in the last checkpoint that we got. It's a road to the manor. I love this giant as well. I think they're actually my favourite duo in the game. Well, it's kind of you to speak to me again. Oh, he's so cool. These old bones serve their purpose. More or less. Yes, sir. Uh, Blade, Blade sent me. Actually did that. Did he? 
Quite a rare occurrence for such a guarded soul as he. Perhaps he sensed something unusual about you. At any rate, if you're friendly with Blythe, I've something else that might suit you. Oh. Oh, hello. FP consumed by skills. Okay, okay. And then he has somber smithing stones up through till uh, number four, which I think is what he had before. So the only thing it's added is that uh, FP uh, amulet or crest, even sorry. And we could buy it. All we need to do is uh, oh, we he doesn't buy things. Oh, actually, you know it doesn't matter. We can uh, we need like four hundred, right? I can't remember what these give us. I think this is the two hundred ones. So. Yeah, there we go. Something. Purchase. Let's have it. Awesome. Um, I mean, we're probably not going to even use it, but um, no, that's cool. That's very cool. What? Uh, so can we? If we do. Okay, then we have that, and we have that. Awesome. Okay. How about a uh, one-handed? Ooh. And that's just standard twin blade. Cool. So I'm still, I'm still completely in awe of uh, this weapon. I love it so much. Um, okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's it for the like little additional segment. Um, <laughs> once again, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been a little bit all over the place, but um, I just I wanted to get some extra stuff done before I went to sleep. And my God, I need to go to sleep. It is um, nearly five o'clock in the morning. Wow. Um, <laughs> um, it's been so much fun though like genuinely I've had so much fun this has been the most fun I've had on Elden Ring in quite a while just going on that wild journey and not feeling confined um, like I felt like I had to stick to an almost rigid schedule for the videos and I didn't want to like leave an area too early or like have to come back to it too often um, but these last two episodes I've just sort of done whatever I wanted and I've had a lot of fun with it, and I've also learned that level-wise, I am kind of where I should be. I just need to get a little bit better at dodging and, you know, finding when to hit properly and stuff like that. Um, which may or may not happen. It's me, after all. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Farewell. <laughs>